Go Gay Fa Choi or Happy Lunar New Year. February 10th is the Lunar New Year of the Wood Dragon. Are you ready? If you missed my video on what to expect for the year of the Wood Dragon, watch this video here. In today's video, I'll be giving you three helpful tips to welcome in the Wood Dragon. In Instagram, I also give you nine daily tips leading up to the year of the Wood Dragon, so be sure to check that out. I'll put the link in the description below. And keep watching to the end because I'll give you a bonus tip on how to have the best year of the Wood Dragon, no matter what animal you are. I'm Susan Chan, Certified Feng Shui Consultant, helping you create a beautiful intentional space and a beautiful intentional life. If you want to learn about all things Feng Shui related, set in the beautiful city of Paris, subscribe to my channel and click the bell for alerts for when I publish a new video about living an intentional Feng Shui life. The energetic Dragon Year will be one of great opportunity and achievement. It starts in eight days, but don't worry, it's 12 months long, so you have more than enough time to start taking action today. And here are the three tips to help you welcome in the Year of the Wood Dragon. Tip number one, plan on where to focus your energy. The wood element signifies growth, the initial stage of development, which eventually leads to achievement and recognition. So what part of your life do you wanna grow? If you're anything like me, I have so many ideas and to-do lists, I don't even know where to start. But this year, I want you to focus on one thing and leave the rest behind. Focused energy equals focused results. And step number two, review your current diet and exercise routine. I know it's weird to include this, but honestly, have you ever seen a tired dragon? I sure haven't. The image we have of a dragon is usually a formidable one. He's breathing out streams of fire. The dragon's rule. To tap into the dragon's vitality, you'll need just as much energy and in order to do that, make sure you're getting the right amount of nutrients in your diet and enough exercise to keep your chi and energy flowing throughout the day. I like doing Heather Robertson's workouts on YouTube, which are free, and I also am an ovo-lacto-pescatarian. Say that 10 times fast. And I make sure I get enough protein in each meal. You don't have to follow my exact diet, but make sure whatever you are doing that it gives you enough energy so that you're able to keep up with this energetic year of the dragon. Tip number three, improve or acquire a new skill. The wood element also signifies improvement. The dragon is a natural leader. To take advantage of the leadership opportunities this year, what do you need to improve? Some examples are public speaking, social media skills, maybe financial management, creative writing, does any of that spark any interest? Those are some essential skills to be an effective and quick leader. Many people think that feng shui is a quick fix. Sometimes it can be depending on where it is you're starting. Oftentimes though, it takes time for planning and setting up a step-by-step -step execution plan. So plan your dragon year using these three tips and work methodically. In addition, each zodiac animal interacts with the dragon in a specific way. To confirm your zodiac animal and to see what is the best way to use the energy this year to your advantage, sign up for an astrology reading and we can customize a plan so you can knock this dragon year out of the park. And here's that bonus tip. Everybody thinks it's good to be the same zodiac animal as the year it is. And this year, it's Year of the Dragon. Now here's the truth. The animal of the year, which is the dragon this year, is the head honcho. He doesn't want to be upstaged. So in order to get the best treatment from the head honcho, you're going to want to be really good friends with his best friend, which is the rooster. Get a rooster pendant or print out a picture of the rooster and put it in your wallet and go out and have fun. Go gay fat choy. And remember, feng shui is not a luxury, but a necessity. See you next week.